welcome to competitive engineering this is our sixth lecture and in this lecture i am going to solve some problems by using the concepts that we were covered in last few lectures that is properties and matrices and determinants so the first question i am going to solve is if a is equal to 1 2 2 Two one two 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 one. What is the determinant of this matrix? So I am going the easy way of finding the determinant. If you want the easy way, you need to watch the lecture number two. That is the matrices and the easy method to find out the determinant of the matrix. So what is the method? we will be writing the first two columns on the right side that is 1 2 2 2 1 2 2 2 that same matrix then the first two column 1 2 2 then 2 1 2 then we will mark the diagonal first second third and the cross also first second third so we multiply the diagonal 1 into 1 into 1 that is 1 plus 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 cube that is 8 plus 2 into 2 into 2 that's again 2 cube that's 8 minus the other diagonal 2 into 1 into 2 that is 4 plus 1 1 into 2 into 2 that is 4 Plus two into two into one. That is four. So what is this? Eight plus eight plus one. That is seventeen. Seventeen. I am writing here seventeen minus twelve. That is five. So the determinant of the matrix is five. I hope it is clear. This is the easy method to find the determinant of the matrix. No need to go through the conventional way, which takes uh, time and it makes confusion to us when involving negative numbers. This easy method is very useful when solving problem involving more zeros. I am taking another example too. Let B matrix B equal to five zero two zero three two. Two zero one. So I'm writing the matrix as five zero two zero three zero two two one. I'm writing the first column again five zero two. Second column zero three zero. Marking the diagonal one two three. Then cross diagonal one two and three. So it is equal to first diagonal five into three into one. That is fifteen. This involves zero, so multiplied we will get zero only. This also involves zero, so multiplied we will get a zero only. So minus the other diagonal two into three into two. That is six into two. That is twelve. This involves this involves zero, so multiply we will get zero. This is also involves zero, so fifteen minus twelve that is three. Okay, the determinant of the matrix B is three. We can use a conventional way also, but it is very easy and will not make any mistake in this.